What's up guys, Saf Ashraf here. Today we are going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy A22s. Right before we start the video, I just want to say this phone is amazing for those people who want to buy their kids their first smartphone or maybe buy their grandparents a phone and are scared that they don't want to buy them a very expensive phone since it might get lost. This phone is amazing for them. It packs quite a lot of good features, some amazing features even, which is quite surprising coming from a budget phone. Let's go over all of them right now. So let's start off with the display on this smartphone. Obviously displays are quite important and we have a huge display on this phone. Well, compared to today's standards, it's, it's an all right size, but we have a 6.6 .6 inch full HD display, which means it's a 1080p display. It is an LED display or LCD display, which means you aren't gonna get the inkiest blacks as you do on the flagship iPhones, the iPhone 12s, 13s, 13 Pros. However, obviously this is a cheap phone. You're not gonna wish for the best features coming from this phone. The display is good to work with though. Surprisingly, this display actually refreshes at a refresh rate of 90 Hertz, which is very surprising seeing as a lot of the some of the higher budget end phones still refresh rate at 60 which is kind of surprising but that's actually pretty good now since we are talking about the size of the screen let's talk about the overall aspect like how the phone feels in the hand as well it is made out of plastic except for the front which is made out of glass but overall it feels all right in the hand especially for those who don't really care about it since you are at this price point it is a nice feeling phone i've got a nice purplish color here which i actually really like it's quite different to what uh, um, I'm used to such as the white and the space gray graphite and so on overall the phone does look all right definitely an all right design for a budget smartphone now in terms of performance we have a MediaTek processor in here now for those who don't know what MediaTek is is basically like a snapdragon processor but made from a different company performance is also all right you're not going to be doing a lot of multitasking on this phone or switching through apps extremely quickly it's not the most smooth experience either there may be a bit of hiccups in the UI and in apps here and there but yeah, it's an alright experience. Apps do run as they should, but however, games can warm up this phone quite a bit, and so can some social media apps. Social media apps aren't all actually optimized for the smartphone, as we know it is an Android phone, and on top of that, it is a budget Android phone, which means the snaps you'll be taking and the TikToks you'll be making are not going to be as high quality as they should be. That was a cold bar. Santan Dave, sign me right now. We have 4 gigabytes of RAM on this phone and 64 gigabytes of memory. I think you can go up to 128, but in terms of RAM, 4 gigabyte, we have had this number long time ago with all the previous budget smartphones, but you won't need a lot of RAM since you won't be doing a lot of multitasking on this phone, even though it would be nice since we do have a big display. Actually, a pretty nice feature we do have on the smartphone is the battery. We have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery on this smartphone, which is much bigger than some of the iPhones, even the iPhone 12, sorry, iPhone 13 Pro Max. And yeah, this phone is going to last you the whole day, maybe even more than a whole day. Maybe it's a two day phone since Obviously, it does have a 1080p display, 90 hertz, where if you switch that down to 60, you'll be saving even more battery life. And it's not a very bright display either, which I should add on, by the way. It's a bit hard to view in sunlight, nearly unviewable in sunlight if the conditions are quite harsh. But yeah, battery life is actually pretty solid on this phone. We have USB-C charging, no wireless charging, budget phone. And yeah, battery life is actually pretty good. The only thing ruining it is the efficiency of the processor, but that's something you can get around. If you do need to charge, you have a bit of fast charging. I think it's up to 20 watts or 18 watts. I'll double check that here if it is wrong. But yeah, overall, all right battery. I think this is what a lot of people are going to be doing when buying this phone. Or maybe you really just don't need an expensive phone and you don't really care about the features as much. So you do the buy this phone. But I'm going to be telling you guys, overall, my thoughts are this phone is actually pretty solid. Only thing which I am quite disappointed with is the display on this phone. The brightness is just not there and color reproduction can be much better. It is an LCD display. I can't expect much. But yeah that's been it thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and there are more videos coming soon i recently got a dji mini 2 drone i will be getting a couple of shots with that and that my phone really wanted to lag out there but as i was saying videos coming soon and with that said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace